everyone, my name is Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have my November book haul and an Illumicrate unboxing. So I was very, very good this month. The only books that I received in were pre-orders and my Illumicrate box that I will get to at the end. So that was it. Like, I literally have not bought anything else for myself. I'm very, very happy about that fact, but I do still have, like, six books plus the Illumicrate box just because I did pre-order some stuff. So the first couple things that I have here you would have seen on my Instagram already because I cannot get over how gorgeous they are. I think I actually talked about them in a recent video as well, but they are going to be the TJ Klune books that Illumicrate did, and yes. So we have Under the Whispering Door and The House in the Cerulean Sea. These are done by Illumicrate. They are freaking gorgeous. So the original covers are still on the actual dust jackets, but we have some extra special bonus stuff. We have sprayed edges gorgeous sprayed edges like this one I love that it's like the teal with the woods and then we have this that basically matches the clouds and the I don't know if it's a sunrise or sunset or whatever it is but it matches it's absolutely gorgeous let's actually start with the house in the cerulean sea since this one came out first if we go under the dust jacket we have a gorgeous design on the naked hardcover of the book. I am a sucker for gorgeous hidden things under a dust jacket. And I don't even remember if I knew it was going to be designed under the dust jacket. I knew it was going to have the sprayed edges and stuff. But when this showed up, it just made me more happy than I originally was. Because, oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. So, we do have this. And it wraps around. Like, I just absolutely love the design. We do also have end papers. Very, very pretty end papers. And it is signed. I will admit right now, I have not read these books. However, I have read other TJ Klune books, and so far he has not let me down. So when I saw how gorgeous they were going to be, I could not help myself. And then we have his newest one, Under the Whispering Door. This one just came out this year, within the last couple months, I want to say. And again, if we go underneath the dust jacket, we have a gorgeous design on the naked hardcover of the book. <sighs> Absolutely love it. Again, it goes all the way around. I love how both of them are like the house, and then there's like woods in the back. And then again, end papers. I actually like these end papers better than the other ones because it matches the sprayed edges. Like, it just looks like it wraps around. I absolutely love that. And again, it is going to be signed. The next book I have here was a pre-order. It is Aurora's End by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This, I believe, is the third and final book in the Aurora Cycle series that I have absolutely been loving. This is a young adult sci-fi series that I feel like is a mix of, like, Star Trek, Mass Effect, and Firefly. Like, everything I love about space and sci-fi type of stuff, like, those are some of my three favorite series and movies and games and the way that they come together like we have characters that are aliens they're not human we have lots of action very very high stakes i just absolutely love it i am not ready for this to end but yeah i will also say that i know that there has been some stuff going on about jay kristoff and for me personally i do not see the problematic elements in the young adult books that he writes with Amy Kaufman, as I did with Never Night specifically, and some of his other books are just not my thing. So the only ones that I'm really getting and reading right now are the ones that he has written with Amy Kaufman because of the fact that I find that they are a completely different tone. The other types of books are definitely not my thing, where these ones are. Then I have a pre-order that I ordered forever ago and it is, was supposed to come out in like July and I think because of COVID and shipping times and the back order of everything, it has finally gotten here. And that is going to be The Nishan Smile by CJ Merwild. So I have been following CJ Merwild as Merwild for years it seems like. I follow them on Instagram for their art. They have done art for book boxes and things like that. But this is a book that they decided to do for themselves. They wrote it and they did the art for it and it is a gorgeous book. I have not read it yet but this is the Fae Crate edition that is gorgeous. However, mine came damaged. The slipcase is damaged which would not be like the biggest deal but the book was also damaged at the same place 
I know you can't see it as well as on the slipcase, but it was quite damaged. And also the inside pieces, there is art that was stuck together on the pages because of the gilded edges. Um, so I have put in a request for a new one and they definitely said that I'm on the list. However, it's on back order right now because all of their editions sold out. So not only did we have to wait months and months and months, it felt like for this to actually arrive, like everybody else that got a normal copy of this probably read their book already or at least has it on their shelves because I know sometimes I don't even read new, new books right when they come out. Um, but we waited for so long and then it was still damaged. Um, but they knew about the damage on the inside. The part that happened with my book, the box was completely fine. So I don't know what happened if it was dropped at the warehouse and then they just shipped it out anyway. But it, it made me very, very sad. But besides that, this book is gorgeous. So let's start with the slipcase. Here it is here, the Nishan smile. I love the red going into the black and then this mouth thing here, I believe it is a characteristic of the race of Nishan. Um, we will read it in the book. Up here it says, you'll be strong and brave. And I know I think on the normal hardcover editions, this smile is underneath the dust jacket. And then this is what the dust jacket of the book looks like. So this is one of the main characters. I believe Domino might be his name. I could be completely wrong. I don't want to say that I'm completely wrong because they've been posting art and everything that maybe Gus. I don't actually remember which one is which um, currently. I feel so bad about this because they've been posting art on their Instagram since they started writing this and I was absolutely in love with how that they were doing their art and how they were describing it and like it was not not spoilers or anything but the book is absolutely gorgeous. We have a map and everything. And then I think because this is the Fae Crate edition, we have original art in here from the author, who is also the artist. Um, but like I said, some of this stuff is stuck together and I just don't want to damage it any more than we possibly could have. Um, but it is freaking gorgeous. Um, on the back, we have this. It says, faces above, bring us the light, let it shine on the way. And then if we go under the dust jacket, first of all, we do have art on the reverse side of the dust jacket. Absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, this is designed by the author and artist CJ Merwild. That is gorgeous, though. And then the special edition under the dust jacket looks like this. So we have a nice gilded like picture on there. It is gorgeous. Here is the spine. And then again, more stuff on the back and it says the same thing faces above bring us the light let it shine on the way and like i said before we do have gilded edges these are i feel like a sort of bronzy rose gold type of color it's very hard to see here because i film right in front of my window just to get some natural light in and it's just being very very shiny um, but it is a lighter color than this one here but it is like a bronzy rose gold color it's a gorgeous, gorgeous book. I'm very excited to read this. This is, I will say, adult. I don't know much about it, um, but it is not young adults. It does have a lot of content warnings and trigger warnings that I do believe the author has on their website. I don't know them off the top of my head or anything like that. Oh, and we also do have, I think, I don't know which way it goes, a signed book plate. One of those ways. But yes, I definitely wanna read this. Um, I was just disappointed that when it showed up, it was very obviously damaged and the case did not protect the book as much as I was hoping for. The next pre-order that we have here is just the standard edition of Lore Olympus by Rachel Smith. This is one that I had read originally on Webtoon. I started this, I think it was five or six years ago, like um, not quite exactly when it first came out, but pretty recently when it had first come out and I was addicted right away. So this is technically something that I have read before, but now instead of it being on Webtoon, this is formatted like a graphic novel type of thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is a like reimagining, retelling of Greek mythology. So basically it's Hades and Persephone 
Hades is up here, Persephone's down here. Um, but it does have a little bit more of a modern day feel. I absolutely love the colors because each Greek character, each Greek god, has their own color. And so it's very color based. Like when they do stuff, it is just absolutely gorgeous. But this is the hardcover, just standard edition because I knew I needed to have it. I just didn't think I necessarily needed a special edition because they were all just so gorgeous in the first place. And then the last book that I have here before we get into the Illumicrate unboxing is from the most recent Unplugged Book Box unboxing. So that was actually from this month earlier in November. Um, and we got The Secret Next Door by Rebecca Taylor. I think the book plate just fell out of the book. Um, I don't remember much about what this is about. Um, I had never heard of the book before we got it. And actually most of the books that we got in the Unplugged Book Box, I have not heard of before. I was actually a rep for them from August through November. So this was my last time being a rep for them. This is the last book that we got. And I absolutely do love the boxes. I love that we get like self care items and things like that. However, this book specifically, from the summary makes me think it is going to be a domestic thriller, technically more of a domestic mystery. Those are not my kind of thing. They usually move a little bit too slow for me and I'm just not as invested. We'll probably try this one out just to see. But one thing I will say, besides August, which had a fantasy type book in it, the last three months of the Unplugged Book Box adult box were all thrillers. And I know we were going into October and that kind of thing. However, I was expecting a little bit more variety in the last four months. We had one fantasy and three thrillers. Um, so the fact that this is a domestic thriller is a little bit different from the summaries of the other two thriller things that we got. They don't sound exactly the same, but I don't know. I was expecting a little bit something more, a little something different. Um, so yeah, this is one that I'm not too sure how I feel about, not too sure if I'm going to read, but that means we are now down to the Illumicrate box. So Illumicrate is a box that I pay for myself every single month and I get it shipped over to the US from the UK which means the shipping is quite expensive but I have absolutely been loving their editions lately like the way that they've been doing the editions of their books have been absolutely gorgeous like I'm just so in love with them and they are usually books that I have heard of and desperately want to read. So we're going to jump into this one. This is going to be for November. Actually it's not. <laughs> this is Afterlight. So this is a box that I pay for myself. However, this is the Illumicrate romance one that they do quarterly. I believe it's quarterly. And so I know the books that are in here. We also probably have a couple other things in here, but they're not as many items as the normal Illumicrate unboxing. So we do have Afterlight. I'm actually very excited for this. Somehow I forgot it was coming this month. <laughs> So the first thing we have in here is a sleep mask. Um, I don't use these very often, although sometimes I feel like I should because I can't sleep unless it's pitch dark. And so um, it's impossible for me to take a nap. But something like this would definitely help. I absolutely love the design on this. It's just very fall and like foresty, like the mushrooms and the leaves and the moths. Like this is just super, super cute. And yeah, it's just an autumnal night's sleep mask. Ooh. This feels like potentially a mug. Okay, so this is a glass mug that I believe we actually got last Afterlight box. Um, and I say that because I've seen this before. It says shine bright. The thing is, these mugs, and I actually didn't even tell Illumicrate because I didn't think it was something that was a big deal to me, but within the first, literally the first washing, this came off like just under hot water it came off. So somebody, they must have figured this out because I know I did not specify it. <laughs> However, they sent us a new one. Hopefully that does hold up better. We didn't wash it right away, so I didn't know in time to show the video or anything like that, um, but it did happen. So I'm glad we got that, but that means this is the item that we should be getting for this. It's another mug. So the other one was a mason jar mug. This one is an enamel mug. I actually really, really like this one because it is black, but then you, if you can see now that my contrast fixed itself, it has little speckles in it. And it says Moonlight Readers Club. Reading the night away. Um, yes. Okay, actually, <laughs> I'm a mess today. The speckles 
speckles that I saw were dirt. <laughs> it's just stuff from the box. They're not speckled. The only part that is speckled is inside the circle because it has a moon and some stars. Um, so it's just a plain black mug that had particles and dust and debris on it. Um, still really, really cute. I love the design of it. I will definitely use that. And then we have two books. So um, the Afterlight box is a romance box. It will only come with one book. However, the book that was picked for this box had a companion novel that you could add on if you wanted to. You didn't have to, but I did. These are both books that I have read. One of them I have read recently and I will talk about a lot more in my wrap up. However, I will say that the one that came out this year I did not like as much as the one that came out last year. Let me just get them all out so we have them ready to go. Ooh, I love how they put these together though. Okay, so the first one, the one that came out last year, is Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade. So this is the UK cover, which I do not like as much as the US cover. However, I have the US cover already, so the fact that this is a UK cover, I don't mind. I like the idea of it. Um, but yes, spoiler alert, I really, really love this one. I gave it five out of five stars. It was one of my favorite books of the year last year. Um, and so yes, we have a bright hot pink cover with a like navy blue sprayed edges on it. Um, this one has a yellow cover under the dust jacket. Interesting. I was not expecting yellow, but I don't mind. And then it looks like we have an electronic signature, which again, I don't mind. Sure, let's do that. Um, but basically these are contemporary romances based on like fan fiction and fandom culture and that kind of stuff. And so this one is between a woman who does like fan fiction and cosplay and the main character of a Game of Thrones-ish type of TV show and Yes, absolutely love this. Olivia Dade also has fat main characters, so I love the fact that we have that for our main character of April here. And in this one, I believe our main guy character has dyslexia. So again, the representation I absolutely love. And then the one for this year, the one that is actually in the Afterlight box, the spoiler alert book was the add-on, is All the Feels by Olivia Dade. So this one is the companion novel to Spoiler Alert. This is the one that I read this month. I will talk about it more in my wrap up, but I gave it like three and a half stars. Definitely not as good in my opinion as Spoiler Alert. Very, very different vibes. But again, we still have a fat main female character and our guy in this one has ADHD. So again, I really liked the representation in here. And one thing I do love is this one is navy blue and has the pink sprayed edges. And so they go together like this, like that to me. Super, super cool. Oh, they both have yellow spines. I wasn't expecting that. Maybe that's why that book was yellow. However, this one is navy. Um, so yeah, I don't know. But um, that is something that I really, really did enjoy about the design of this. Again, I'm gonna have an electronic signature and I don't have a physical copy of All the Feels yet because I read it as an e-arc. Um, I will probably get one anyway, just because I do like to have the matching copies. Um, so yeah, this is not the Illumicrate that I thought we were getting, but we do have an Illumicrate Afterlight. And so that is everything for this month. So we actually have eight books here, although some of them have been read before. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos. I do have videos up Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I will see you then. Bye!